What's up y'all? Connor from Rock Pokemon here. Um, today, just wanted to bring you guys a video. I know that a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to pick up a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box. So I wanted to share one of mine with you guys. Um, show off what's going on inside of this. Um, and also just you know, I think there's a lot of hype around, you know, keeping stuff like this sealed. Um, I do have one I'm going to display for myself because I think that's really cool. But um, honestly, guys, like, look, I mean, this is probably one of the going to end up being one of the rarest items from celebrations, right? To keep sealed because it was probably the, one of the most limited items. I think I have one other item that I'll share with you guys sometime that I think is really cool. But Look, at the end of the day, you know, Pokemon was meant to be enjoyed. So I want to open this here with you guys on the channel, let you see it, um, just to kind of show like, this is meant to be enjoyed and it's not all about the money. And look, if this $70 ETB is worth $700 in a couple of years, so be it. Who cares? Like, Pokemon's meant to be enjoyed. It's not about the money. So. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna get my aggressively large knife and uh, see what we got. So, very excited to be opening this. Um, I think that it's one of the coolest looking products that came out, so I certainly will enjoy having one to display for myself, for sure. Um, so I have a second one. And I'm also just really stoked for the stuff on the inside. So. The way I see it is that there's going to be kind of some unique stuff inside of here that I'm going to really enjoy having, right? And so same reason, you know, opened and involving skies and then have a couple on display over there. Um, same reason we do this. So, oh, that's cool. See, that's, and that's part opening, right? Now I have this cool box and you can see like how the celebrations is all woven in here. Like they did that on here too. But this, you know, is a different design, different way that they, you know, they put the logo down here. And that's just really cool to see. You get to see this, whole, you get to have this really cool box. Like, I still get to have this box. Like, that's awesome. I need to keep this sealed. Like, this is sweet. So, I just want to show you guys what's going on inside here. You know, really nice touch with, with how they did this celebrations deal. So, first of all, we've got the... Let's see, back this up, player's guide. So inside the player's guide, what you get is basically a little discussion of what you're gonna get inside the Elite Trainer box, what the set list looks like, what the classic subset looks like, the promo, you know, about all these cards, a lot of history. Um, it's really cool, in my opinion. This is a great item to have, like, kind of loose because it's really cool to like look at all these and be like hey what do I you know what do I want from the set like me I love this rocket Zapdos that's what I want so much uh this Cleffa love it so much shiny Magikarp like cards that were super nostalgic to me um I think this is going to be really really neat to have one of these to just look at any time um then there's of course the the rules so you get to learn how to play the game um i would really like to learn how to play the game i've kind of screwed around before with the online game and read these booklets before but um you know would really like to to get back to learning sometimes just you know it's a lot of time so let's see what we got going on inside here guys pretty pretty stoked honestly i hope that you guys have been able to get some celebration stuff if not, do not worry. There will be plenty. I promise this set is going to be printed into the ground from what I am hearing. Um, so we got these dope sleeves, like super clean. Um, you know, I think the logo is a lot better like elsewhere than it is necessarily like on the cards. So on the cards, it's like, okay, it's a little big, but elsewhere, like it's kind of neat. It's not, you know, any thing earth shattering it's not like you know they didn't really do much different than the 20th anniversary but uh it's cool so these are really neat i look forward to using these and you know people that you know buy cards from me especially singles i'll throw these in there you know once in a while 
you know, with the card in it. So they get to have one kind of share the wealth because I don't need all of these. I mean, it's crazy. So uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, we've got the dividers as always. So these are cool because they, you know, they're just like little logo cards, you know, they're like kind of neat to like display or, you know, you put one on your, on your desk or something or use it as a divider for whatever, for cards or a bunch of other purposes. So these are pretty neat. Love how all the Pokemon are in the background. Um, they just did a really good job with that. So then of course you have your counters and your dice. So the dice in this case, um, this is something I thought was pretty cool. So these dice are super heavy, super heavy. And what's really cool is this metal coin. Um, I think that that's gonna be super unique to have, um, which is why, you know, in a lot of ways this is meant to be open because these things are super cool. I mean, just look at that. Like, that's, I can't, like, I'm gonna have this in 25 years from now, you're gonna think about the 25th anniversary year and all the craziness. Like, look how cool they did the tail logo. Like, it's sweet. Look at that. So, that's awesome. And these dice are crazy heavy. Um, really cool. So, and I like the, the yellow, like the Pikachu vibe, so. And then, I think that's everything in there from that side. So we'll take that out. Again, hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone's gotten to enjoy celebrations. This is something I thought would be really cool to have, which is this little deck box. Um, I'm a big fan of these. You know, I have some, uh, have some in my collection. I have this very cool one that my, my uh, shout out to my plug in Japan sent me that's super neat from the EV Heroes release. And then now, you know, this one's, it's not leather or anything. It's your, it's your standard, you know, deck box, uh, you know, maybe a little bigger, I forget, but really cool. Just very like cool aesthetically to have this. So very, very stoked about that. And then of course you have your fat stack of energies. So LOL, here's your energies. So, okay. So let's get into it. Um, what you get inside of here which is, you know, of course, you get the awesome Greninja promo, which is very, very neat. Um, and it looks like, yeah, this is in good shape. So I've seen some of them where like they have the, um, they're like crimped up along the top, you know, like this, this crimped into the card. So but this is a great card, nice hollow. Uh, no swirl, but a really nice hollow pattern. So neat promo. Code card for someone. Here you go. Can make use of that. And then, so we're going to move this down here. Put this back here. What we got are, let's see, I think six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. TCG pack, so two chilling rain, a darkness of blaze, a vivid voltage, two vivid voltage, and a battle style. So probably save those. Probably won't open them up for now. We'll see. Um, and then we got sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many? Hang on. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's check. Okay, let's check this. Okay, yep, it is supposed to be thirteen. So what a random number. Um, that's super weird. One, two, three, four. Yep. All right. So we went over everything. We got thirteen packs. We got six additional packs. We got the Greninja Gold Star. We got the sleeves we got the energy cards we got the player's guide the rule book the aluminum damage counter dice the metal coin the condition markers the deck box obviously the, the box itself with the dividers and the code card i just gave you so that is everything in here um very stoked let's open some celebrations guys i know you guys have probably seen a ton of this already but we'll open a few we, we won't necessarily open everything we'll see what we get so um, again, I'm really looking for the Cleffa, the Shining Magikarp, 
and what else? No, there's one other one I'm really looking for. So we'll dive right into it, see what happens. So we got Zekrom, Groudon. So the next slot will be the Classic Collection, or it'll just be something, you know, a normal one. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. The Mega Rayquaza EX. That is a sick card. This card is just, like, so extra. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty sick, though. Check that out, guys. So, and then the back slot. Oh, the giant Surfing Pikachu VMAX. Very cool. Very cool. I love how he just has like one foot hanging out on the on the uh, surfboard. Got the bubbles, the the waves, the boat in the background. Cool color scheme. The way his hands are waving, like he's balancing. It's cool. So, but that's a great hitter. Um, you know, this classic collection is neat, guys. I think what's very cool is they really paid homage to some of the most iconic cards in a hobby from like a collecting standpoint, like Birthday Pikachu. You know, one of the most iconic. Uh, Black Star promos ever, and then of course you know some of the most iconic cards in the TCG as well. So really, uh, really stoked to try to collect as many of these awesome um, cards from the classic collection as you can. So you know, I think this has been a really fun set. You know, I've opened a little bit before this and. I think that, you know, it's really just meant to be that, a celebration, right? It's meant to have as much as possible out there to really just pay homage to 25 years of the hobby, you know? So, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, the Don fan. Let's go. Two classic hits back to back. It's such a great card. I love that. Don fans such a slept on Pokemon. And then Professor's Research. This is like one of the best cards in the set, I think, honestly. Like in the base set or the core set, this is an absolutely like dope card. I just love the way it like breaks the fourth wall. Um, it's so neat. So got the Don fan. Another classic collection hit from 2010. Absolutely beautiful card so appreciate you guys as always watching uh if you're new welcome i'm connor rock pokemon i am from rochester new york that's the rock in rock pokemon and uh you know i'm just here to share my love for the hobby with you guys and hopefully help you think a little more critically about the hobby and how you approach it now that you know Things have gone a little crazy on the dollar side of the equation for collecting. And it's, you know, it's hard to navigate collecting now as a average collector. You know, where do you put your hard-earned money? And uh, how do you avoid some of the hype that people are purporting, you know, around <laughs> investing in this stuff? So Xerneas, I mean, that's a just a hitter. I mean, the, the hollow is just, I mean, it really, it really does a lot, honestly. It's great. Crazy beautiful. Yvelta, another amazing card. Like when you look at the hollow on this, it's just absolutely beautiful. Zekrom. Okay, let's see if we get anything in the back. The Mew. Nice. That's an awesome card. So still, you know, very common, obviously. I mean, all the cards in this set are common, guys. Like, look, this is what I want to encourage you guys to, to do. And that's, um, oh, and I got to show you guys all these code cards. Let me make sure. I've shown everyone, so you guys can pause the video, write that down. Someone's going to get it. There's that one, and there's that one. Uh, yeah, that's all those. So this is what I'm going to tell you guys. This set, the cards are going to be <laughs> abundant, right? You know, no one knows what the pull rates are yet. Some are, you know, trying to hypothesize on the classic collection so far based on, you know, however many packs have been opened. I just don't think we're going to know. And we don't know how much of this stuff is going to be printed. We don't know how many years it's going to be around for. And all I can tell you is with such a small set, you're probably going to be able to get most of the cards you want. So I really wouldn't FOMO on them this early. Gosh, what a 
sweet, sweet combo that is. And those are so cool. So, oh, stop it. We got it, guys. You ready for it? Boom. Cleffa, baby. Oh, my gosh. This is one of my favorite Neo Destiny cards. Absolutely. Or Neo Genesis cards, sorry. The introduction of baby Pokemon. Just an absolute banger of a card that is so nostalgic to me. Um, by my favorite artist, Himeno. I mean, look at that, guys. It's so good. I love that. The star-shaped Pokemon. It's so funny. And what we get in the back? Boom! We got the Surf and Pikachu V to go along with our VMAX. So, very cool. There's the code card for you guys. So, Classic Collection. Even the Classic Collection. A lot of these might be, you know, easy to pull, guys. Right? We just don't know how it's going to shake out. Um, I haven't opened... Ooh, there's a nice ding in the bottom of that so it's cool a lot of these are just going in my binder anyway but it's a shame anyway look like these like the surf and pikachu i just pulled like guys that stuff's gonna be i mean there's 25 cards in the set guys and you've seen if you've watched what people are pulling like it ain't you know it ain't gonna be that hard to to pull together this set and that's what i think a lot of us need to keep in perspective as we're collecting now um is we need to think about what do we really want you know do we want the endorphin rush of opening packs and gambling which i'm going to talk more about in a in a market monday you know that might come out before this comes out i'm not sure yet but you know is it for the endorphin rush is it because you want to fill up your binder oh, the dialga nice hadn't haven't seen that one yet that's awesome and the Kyogre, very nice. And nice, another Serpent Pikachu. See, guys, like we got another Serpent Pikachu VMAX. Here it is. Like, do not think about, you know, are you opening because you want to like gamble and you want that endorphin rush? Are you open because you want to fill your binder? Are you opening because you just feel pressured into feeling like you have to open packs because, I don't know, you have an Instagram like me or a YouTube or whatever? Um, you just got to put things in perspective, I think, um, and think about why, what your why is, why you're collecting, why you're opening what you're opening, um, and really think about it because, you know, you work hard for your money and you want to make sure you're set up for success. And you don't want to be frivolous. And remember, it's just cardboard. So, like, I don't know. Be really thoughtful about what you're doing. And, uh, you know, take it slow. Especially if you're new to this. You can be drinking from a fire hose a little bit. So, Palkia. Man, it would be really cool if we pulled um, Shiny Magikarp in this. But Rockets Zapdos would also be amazing. This has been so sick so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes Team Rocket, baby. Ah, oh, another crazy nostalgic card. Sugimori Special. Absolute fire card. Really slept on. Almost bought a first edition PSA 9 one of these the other day. Or maybe it was CGC, I forget. Um, went for a nice price in auction. But, man, I love how that textured surface complements the, like the hollow here like for such a small hollow pattern this textured surface is perfect for this card so super dope card really enjoy it and we got the flying pikachu i love this i'm a bigger fan of flying pikachu than i am surfing pikachu this is an amazing card this v and the way they did if you guys haven't seen i got a zashian pin box so the surfing to flying i mean this is dope guys i mean look at that just absolutely sick so sick so love that card um huge fan here's a code card for you guys ah oh, flying pikachu is so beautiful it's such a good card yeah we're gonna open all these guys so here comes team rocket another classic man i tell you these watsy classic collection cards 
are just something else, guys. I mean, it just hits, you know? It really does for me. I mean, that Cleffa, I've been wanting to pull that so bad. I just think it's such a crazy cool card. I love the colors. I just, I'm obsessed with Himeno. Like, here comes Team Rocket. I mean, come on, guys. Like, you can't go wrong with these. This is going to be a very, I think, you know, beloved set for people to have in their binders. I'm sure some of these are going to, you know, a lot of these are going to get graded. Hopefully for personal collections, because I'm not really sure what, I don't know. It's going to be a weird market for these guys. I'm, I'm not really uh, looking forward to watching that unfold, but we'll see what happens. Look, I think that... What I'm most interested in is how they take these textured cards and they uh, grade the surface. I got no idea how that's going to work. So Kyogre, absolutely love this hollow, by the way. I mean, it's just absolutely fabulous. So Dialga again, Cosmog, and in the back slot, but you it's a Pikachu. Nope. Another professor's research. So I have noticed that this hits that last slot a lot on... Um, you know, packs where there's just, you know, four of the base hollows. So still, I mean, I'll, I'll take as many copies of that professor's research as possible. Like I'll just keep, like, it's just awesome. Like, I love it. I don't know. It's pretty sweet. So there's a code card. So our pull rates have been pretty good. We have, uh, opened, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've opened seven packs and we've got four classic collections. That's pretty awesome. We'll uh, we're gonna have to see if anything else is left in this box. So let me adjust the camera a little bit for you guys. Let's see what we got. So, so yeah, I don't know. It's just a little bit of a conundrum with like how this is gonna play out. People are gonna be rushing to grade these things. You know, what could happen is there's, you know, a situation where there's basically no tens um, because we all know the print quality is sus on a lot of these, but so that could be interesting, but there's probably going to be so many sent in, especially if, um, especially if, you know, PSA opens up a, a lower tier at some point. So I'll just leave that back there. So that's going to be interesting to watch. I mean, you can send these to CGC all day long and, uh, it's going to get just super interesting. Uh Oh, Oh, Team Magma's Groudon, another banger of a card. 2004, number 9 out of 95. Hollow Rare. Just a sick card. Team Magma, Team Aqua. Aqua, great set. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. That texture gets me every time. Backslot, Mew. Nice, see? Mews. Muse for days. You know, that Gold Star Mew, that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. It's funny, there was preliminary, you know, people trying to put together pull rates, and I think it's kind of funny. I don't know, I just don't think there's enough. I don't think we're ever really going to know. Or it's going to take a lot longer to for us to know, but it's just so interesting how, how people think about that. But yeah, I, uh, look, I think that this says, I mean, it's a celebration. It's meant to be, it's meant to be, you know, really like in, enjoyed, right? From a, like, um, I think appreciation of these historical cards standpoint. Um, I don't think it's, you know, they didn't, to our knowledge yet, unless something crazy happens, throw in any secret rares or anything like that. They got some great promos. They've got the jumbos they've been doing all year. So there's a lot more that they have done when you think about it. Um, you know, when you factor in the promos and you factor in the jumbos and all that stuff. But I think what's going to be interesting is ho -Oh, oh to see what they do in Japan. You know, if they throw in secret rares, if they get some crazy hits in there, it'll be cool to see. So, Velto and Lunala. So, really cool card. I love how she's like kind of standing looking out. That's a really neat one. So that's, uh, I think, only our second, like, low-profile pack. There's the code card for you guys. Can't remember exactly. But anywho, we got four more packs. Appreciate you guys sticking in with me. Um, I... Uh, 
I'm really stoked about this set. You know, I think it's, I'm, I'm just hoping, you know, people don't FOMO too hard, that people aren't overpaying for stuff. Like, I think there will be a lot. And uh, like I said, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to collect. People are gonna get so many doubles. There's gonna be so many ways to like trade with your friends and get all the classic collection stuff you want. So I think that'll be, I think we'll all be okay. We got something back there. Oh, nice! I haven't pulled this one yet. Heck yes! Zamazenta V. That's awesome. There's a code card for you guys. Dope. So dope. Oh, I haven't gotten to see this one yet. Oh, that's cool. That green background is sweet. So sweet. Rad. Rad. Yeah, definitely, you know, filling out a nice little binder here. So I think this will fit perfectly into the binder. Very stoked on that. Put that to the side. It's going to be a cool set to kind of look back on. So I think what's going to be neat is, you know, with the classic collection, there's, you know, ones like maybe that Groudon that's like really cool, but like not you know, I don't know, not as nostalgic for me as like a Kleppa or Here Comes Team Rocket. So if there's, you know, if I don't get Rocket Zapdos and anything I open, you know, maybe I trade something like that away for one if someone's willing to, you know, and it's, it's going to be one of those ones where you're going to be able to get, I think, the cards you want fairly easily. Um, you know, maybe that Gold Mew ends up being hard to pull. We just don't know. We really just don't know yet. Um, and I think you should just enjoy it. But not go overboard with with what you're opening especially if you're just chasing a specific card so palkia and the mew once again so there we are there's your code card we got two more packs to go guys so we've hit one two three four five you know theoretically maybe the way i'm seeing it it makes more sense if you got you know one in every two or one in every three we'll have a classic collection um it's kind of anecdotally what I think might be the case, what how it falls into that, you know, as far as like how the distribution works on the specific cards, who knows. But man, I just love these artworks. I mean, just looking at these cards, I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. Every base one is a hollow. It's so cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do we got, guys? Boom! Yes, another one I wanted. I forgot about this. The Imposter Professor Oak. Oh, what a fantastic card. The hollow pattern really complements this super well. Like the shadow is so pronounced. That sparkly, freaking textured, crazy hollow is super dope. And we got the regular professor behind it. Gotta love that. So there's that for you guys. Oh man. Yeah. So this one isn't, is it? Feels like less textured than the other ones if it is, but oh, another just absolutely banger of a card. Poster Professor Oak. Gotta love it. Love to see that. So, you know, again, that anecdotal now we've gotten six classic collections out of 12 packs, you know, about that one and two. Again, I think it's, you're going to be able to get some really great stuff um, on whatever you open. So enjoy it. And the last pack, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, remember, Pokemon's meant to be open and enjoyed. Remember that. That's what modern's for. So you can spec if you want. And that's cool. And I do too. But remember, at the core of it, it's not about the money. It's about <laughs> enjoying the hobby. Only do this and only spend money if you actually like this. Okay? That's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. As always, ooh, yeah. I'm Rock Pokemon. Uh oh. Oh, the Garchomp level X. Let's go. Man, we're just hammering the classic collection in this one. 
That's really cool. 09. What a great card. My goodness. There's just so much going on in this card from the trainer to the SP to the logo to the level X. I mean, just what a crazy card. What a just really like wild card in the way that this edge is hollow. Oh man, and that texture complements it well. This is cool. This is a really neat one. I like this one a lot. Man. Well, last card for you guys. Like I said, I'm Rock Pokemon. As always, collect what you love, but do it intelligently. Boom! And the flying Pikachu to end it. Thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please consider, you know, liking the video, subscribing if you're new. Uh, if you are new, welcome. I'm very glad to have you. I'm very thankful. We have over 200 subscribers now, which is absolutely insane to me when I think about it. And, uh, yeah, you know, do all those, you know, fun things like comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I am starting to drop more videos, so... We have got, let's see, let's put it, let's go through them. Um, we're starting to drop more videos here and there. So turn those notifications on so you don't miss it. I know there's a lot of content to absorb and I appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. So Team Magma's Groudon Classic Collection, Don Fan, Mega Rayquaza EX, Car Chomp Level X. Imposter Professor Oak. My goodness. Here comes Team Rocket. And of course, one of Jimeno's finest, Cleffa. So thank you guys again so much for watching. This has been an awesome opening of the Pokemon Center Celebrations ETB. So take care, guys. See ya.